Okay, so welcome to episode 3 of this uh, uncompressed raw file that I'm going to upload on YouTube. Guys, it might even take 8 hours, maybe even 6 hours, maybe even 10 hours. I don't know how long it's going to take for YouTube to do this. But once it's done, once this finally it's finished, you guys just going to be blown away by just how beautiful this looks. Uh, DirectX 12 it's the best IPI okay and for those of you who don't understand the difference between DirectX 12 and DirectX 11 please educate yourself go on Google and learn and study okay consoles at the moment they cannot render DirectX 12 due to the limited hardware ability they can't do it alright maybe in the future with the new consoles, when they arrive, they'll be able to do DirectX 12. But currently, right now, PC is the king when it comes to tessellation, ambient inclusion, okay, much higher polygons on the shadows, higher res shadow rendering, all of that stuff, man, DirectX 12 just will bring out here. And you will see that here as I go through this video. Um, okay? I know some of you are Sony fanboys and <laughs> look Sony is a great console it's got all these kick-ass exclusives but <laughs> you're gonna have to wait till next console and then we'll see what they can do technically all right right now currently Nvidia is leading with their architecture with their API DirectX 12 and the uh, RTX advanced ray tracing uh, it's gonna be hard to beat Nvidia in terms of you know it's gonna be hard to beat PC in terms of quality to begin with because PC it's always gonna be ahead of the, the curve okay but what I have seen on consoles what I have seen on consoles so far it's pretty 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 darn good but don't tell me that your consoles are graphically better than what PC can do. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna sound stupid saying that. People are gonna look at you and they're gonna say, either a you're stupid, or you're stupid and don't know what you're talking about, or you're just simply a fanboy who's mindlessly, blindly uh, protecting its fanboyistic plastic brand all right and this is the only way I can be uh, I can be nice about this when somebody comes to my channel and starts spitting out some stupidity I can be nice about that do some research man go on Google and you will see what direct X 12 can do you have internet access go to the goddamn Google and research that shit and you're going to see what DirectX 12 can do. You know what? Why don't I just show you? Instead of you having a hard time typing and Googling what DirectX 12 can do, why don't, why don't I show you? Here we go. Why don't I show you? This is DirectX 12. Right now what you're looking at. Currently, your console cannot render something like this. High polygons of tessellation high polygons of textures, high resolution shadows, ambient occlusion, okay, and extrophic filtering, all of that stuff the consoles cannot do. Here, I'll even, uh, hold on, I'll even go ahead and I'll take a photo mode, maybe I can take a photo mode here, just for a really quick, just so you can see here. Uh, here, let me just show you a couple of things here. The foliage in this type type of a detail, you're not gonna see on DirectX 11. The way the the way the shadows and the light are overshadowing and tracing that light on the plants, you're not gonna see that on DirectX 11. This is what DirectX 12 does. Okay. 
or you can watch a digital foundry video you can watch a digital foundry video and you will see exactly uh, the difference between DirectX 12 and DirectX 11 all right uh, I'm not talking about you guys who understand this I'm talking about uh, one idiot that came in and started comparing uh, saying the decima saying that the uh, horizon zero dawn is the best looking game on the planet or some other whatever it's a best looking game for that console but it's not the best looking game period okay so and then he starts saying oh this game cannot beat horizon zero dawn yes DirectX 12 it's already beating it here to what it's doing come on man Look at this detail. Look at the hair works. I mean, what are you trying to tell me, man? Look at this detail. Can you find jagged edged lines here? You can't find them. You're not going to find them anywhere here. Can you? No, you can't. This is on a whole new level. Okay. What, 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 we, what we're seeing here, it's a whole new level. All right, let's do some gameplay. Let's uh, let's continue. I mean, come on, dude! Look at the graphics here. You can't find a single jagged edged lines on the shadows, or on the textures nowhere everything runs smooth and then you add advanced ray tracing on the RTX it's gonna blow away anything out there that's on the market like Thanos snapping the fingers alright maybe if you do some research about DirectX, uh, DirectX 12 and learn about DirectX 12 API maybe maybe you would know why DirectX 12 it's superior maybe just maybe 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 if you actually have some passion to learn and educate yourself maybe you can learn that shit instead of being a fanboy <sighs> fanboys man freaking cancer no really it's like a toxic cancer that's what it is Look at this, man. Now, this is without ray tracing on. Imagine once I put ray tracing on. Once you get the RTX graphics card, and then you turn on that ray tracing, advanced ray tracing on. Imagine that volumetric light. Imagine the shadowing, how that light's going to reflect. Then you add HDR10. Bananas, man. It's going to be ridiculous bananas falling off of the trees over here okay that's the kind of uh, detail you're gonna be looking at come on man look at the shadows here it's just ridiculous come on just do it All right, kill him. No. Your employment has been terminated. Please, no. I have money. I can pay you. Right in the head. How I hurt you. You work for Trinity. What did they find? Well, they've been searching for a temple entrance for many years. So. Today they found it. Again, there's going to be some spoilers here. I just want to say something that there is going to be some spoilers here on this game. All right, this you know this video is not going to be without spoilers. Jonah, Trinity just tried to kill a local archaeologist. Oh God! I have to find what they're looking for. So it's really important to remember something. 
when you add all of these elements look at the reflection right there on that puddle look at that puddle and look at the reflection on the puddle when you add all of these elements from RTX ray tracing advanced ray tracing volumetric light tessellation direct text 12 higher textures ultra setting textures anisotropic filtering uh, anti-aliasing set to 18 or whatever some ridiculous amount of number let's say eight times anti-aliasing set to eight times and 16 times anisotropic filtering when you add all of those elements and then you put native 4k with high dynamic range now you catch my drift as far as the detail and clarity and fidelity of that picture detail you're gonna get okay I don't know why is that so hard for people to understand the PC is superior I mean why is this so hard for people to understand you know of course the PC is better but it's not all about the horsepower and graphics I do like first party AAA exclusive games like Spider-Man Last of Us the games that I can only play on that console but looking at it from a graphical technical point of view of course that the PC version always going to be better you know why is this so difficult to understand I mean why is that like such a uh, hard task to understand and I think you guys might have seen this from Nvidia this uh, this part of the game I think you might have uh, seen on Nvidia beyond her gaze and look at that look at that this water man yeah. must be down there. look all I'm trying to say is this guys if you have Xbox one X if you have PlayStation 4 Pro you're still going to enjoy this game but if you have a choice if you happen to have a very beefy PC then you owe it to yourself to experience this game the way it was meant to be experienced okay you you owe it to yourself to experience this game uh, with high fidelity polygons and, and textures tessellation foliage all of these graphical filters and elements with API DirectX 12 you owe it to yourself to to enjoy it this way even developers they said we encourage you to use DirectX 12 Okay, so you're gonna have much better experience with a PC version. That's all I'm trying to say. But I'm still impressed with the Xbox One X and what the Xbox One X can do for a DirectX uh, DirectX 11 uh, API and HDR and, and 3840 by 2016 resolution. Okay. I'm still impressed. But, again, you know, if you want to have the, the best experience of this game, this is really simple. You gotta go with uh, PC version. I mean, just look at this. Drop from Rappel. Oh my goodness. I mean, just look at this detail. I mean, this is just... Everything. The foliage, the textures, the shadows, the hair works. Uh, look, at, look at the hair works there, man. Hold on a second. Where's the photographer mode? Uh, I mean, come on, dude. Look at this. Look at that, man. I mean, come on. You can't possibly tell me that DirectX 12 sucks. <laughs> you can't possibly tell me that. When you say that, right now I'm, I'm embarrassing you. <laughs> For you even to mention that, to even say that in front of everybody. Because everybody knows DirectX 12 is superior. I mean, come on, look at this hair works here. Look at this. This is like a CGI movie. Like you watching an animated CGI movie. 
It's what it is. Come on, man. You know? How many representations did they have on the keynote on NVIDIA showing DirectX 12? How many times even Phil Spencer, when he was doing something for the Microsoft, he was presenting DirectX 12 API and what DirectX 12 can do with tessellation, ambient inclusion, all these other uh, graphical enhancements. He talked about it in detail. But he never said that the Xbox One X can do DirectX 12. He never said that. All right? Actually, let's take a photo here. You know, I, I really want to take a photo right here. Uh, I like this, man. This is, like, amazing. I mean, just look at the detail here. It's just amazing, dude. Look at this detail, dude. Amazing. I'm trying to find a really good, like, uh, really good spot that I can use here. Sorry about that, guys. Here we go. This is a good one right here. Okay, let me take a snapshot. You can even use different filters. That's cool. You can put the uh, visibility. You can put different... Hold on. Oh, that's cool, dude. Normal. Smiling. There we go. Look at this, bro. This is just crazy. She's like Joker now. <laughs> She's just happy. So let's take a screenshot. Here we go. There we go. Screenshot saved. I mean, look at that, dude. Just look at that screenshot. It's bananas. All right. I'm sorry I had to do this. I had to do this to prove a point, you know, because, uh, you know, it hurts my brain when someone says something stupid to me. You know, it's like it hurts my brain. And I feel obligated to educate that person, honestly. I just feel obligation to educate that person all right because obviously that person doesn't know anything about api and what even api stands for what directx 12 can do okay that person doesn't even know what tessellation means all right so let alone the foliage vegetation all this other shit out there uh, all right let's continue Here we go. Oh yeah. Look at that, man. Look at that beauty. Jump right now. Oh, that's cool. You can do a photo photograph mode like when she's jumping like that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to have so much fun, dude, making these videos. All right, let's uh, let's exit that. Uh, let's continue. Let's go up. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Oh my god, that was a mistake. I don't know what happened, dude. I lost my cool. All units, get ready. 
Dr. Dominguez is on his way down. Damn, I better hurry. Come on, come on. Hurry, damn it. Oh man. Press to grapple down, okay. Then All right, come on. Of course you got it. You're the Tomb Raider, damn it. A statue is looking at that cave. Look at that cave. Looked like a skull. All right, so where are we going now from here? Which way do we go? Do we go up or do we go down? Oh shit. Oh yeah, like that. Okay. Here we go. Move up. There we go. Come on. Jump. Good job. This is it. Jonah, I'm entering a cave. We may lose contact. Copy that. I'll keep an eye on Trinity out here. Look at this level of detail here. Here, let me uh, do a photographer mode here. Actually, you can do it when it's in uh, in the cutscene. This cave looks like it's usually underwater. And look at this water here, man. Look at the ripples and all that. The effect of the water. The shadows, the reflection of the light and her on, onto the water. Look at all that stuff, man. You know. And look at the detail on her, on her forearms and the textures and the hair and everything, dude. It just, it just looks bananas. Look at that, that the wetness and, and, and the reflection of that wetness. You can even see the individual hairs, like on her, a little tiny hairs. You know how women have little tiny hairs on, on, on forearms once in a while if they don't shave. Like you can even see that, dude. Like this, that's the kind of detail that you see in this game. And that's pretty mind-blowing. And of course, the booty shot, you know. Now imagine when you add RTX. When you add RTX uh, graphics card with uh, ray tracing on, imagine the kind of bananas you're going to have when it comes to that. Like, especially like right here on, on this level. It's going to be ridiculous. All right, so guys, I'm going to end the video right here, okay? Uh, I don't want to spoil it too much. This is my uh, third episode of this, you know. I think you guys catch the drift. I think you guys clearly will be able to see this and see for yourself just what kind of fidelity you're getting with DirectX 12. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. See you in the next video.